In this video, we're going to introduce the concept of irreducible representations, which are the set of the simplest possible representations of a group from which all others can be expressed. Okay, so every point group, as we see, is a group. It's composed of certain symmetry operators, which emerge from the symmetry elements of the molecule. And those symmetry operators form a group together. They have the properties of a group. We saw in the previous video that we can use three by three matrices as a representation of the operators in a, of a particular point group. So those three by three matrices were one particular set of representations of the operators in that point group. But we're interested in this video in irreducible representations, which are the simplest possible set of them from which we can build all of the others. Okay, so let's look at the water molecule in particular, H2O, very friendly, very familiar molecule. It's got a C2 axis, which is the principal axis going down the middle of the molecule, as you can see in more detail if you look at uh, symmetry at Otterbein. We've got a sigma V, the molecule is in a plane, that is a symmetry element, and uh, coming out of the board here perpendicular to that sigma V and parallel to the C2 sigma V prime. Okay, and it's also got the identity as well. So those are the four symmetry elements of the group, but these can form four specific irreducible representations uh, of these operators. So for example, uh, I have four names of these. So I have they have names like A1, A2, B1, and B2. And I'm going to explain in future videos what those names mean, but for now, don't worry about it. They're just labels to indicate a specific irreducible representation. So we're going to have the operator E is 1, the operator C2 is 1, the operator sigma v is 1, and sigma v prime is 1. Okay, so that's very simple. You can agree that it would you couldn't construct something which is simpler than that. And let's see if it satisfies all the properties of the group multiplication table for the C2v point group of the water molecule that I've drawn down here. <clears throat> okay, so e times e, 1 times 1 should be 1 and one is also E, so that's correct. And any, any combination of these you would see are correct because everything here is just one. One times one is one. Every operator is every operator. This multiplication table is fairly trivial as a result. Okay, so that's, that seems fairly trivial, and it is, but you could also do another representation of these where we have E equals one, C2 equals one, and then sigma v is minus one, and sigma v prime is minus one. <clears throat> Let's, for example, take sigma v times c2, sigma v times c2, that should be sigma v prime. So is one times one is minus one, sigma v prime, is it minus one? Yes. So in the same way, this group multiplication table will be correct for this a2 irreducible representation. What about this B1? For this B1, I'm gonna define it as E equals one, C2 equals minus one, sigma V equals one, sigma V prime equals minus one. And if you work through this table, you'll find out that that works in the same way. Everything is, everything is true under the multiplication table. And finally, you might guess E is one, C2 is minus one, sigma v is minus one and sigma v prime equals one. Okay, so that's that also if you do your due diligence and check the 16 operations in that multiplication table, that indeed will be true for all 16 pairs of operations here. So what is the summary of this particular video and, and the point of it? So here we have the four irreducible representations 
and irreducible representation is also done as a shorthand of irreps. We have the four irreps of the C2V point group. Okay, so each uh, each point group is going to have a specific number of irreps. That irrep is going to be very related to the number of symmetry operations and how those operations are related to each other. In certain cases, the number of irreps will be the same as the number of symmetry operations. In some cases, it will be less, but there will never be more irreps than the number of symmetry operations. So these irreducible representations are going to be very important for us because the collection of them is going to form what we call a character table. And a character table is basically a condensation of the most useful information about a point group and that we can use in order to determine some very useful properties about the molecule that we have once we know its point group.